you can potentially see the white cliffs behind me. They're not the proper white cliffs, I don't think, but um, we'll see them in a bit, I'm sure. Uh, on a ferry, on our way to Belgium. Um, nice trip down, a couple of beers last night. Looking forward to the weekend. Welcome to Belgium, everyone. We've made it to the uh, the Limburg Posture Show, just about to start judging. Check shirts here. I know you get concerned when I don't wear the check shirts. Um, lots of really lovely birds on show today. Uh, we're going to hopefully get to speak to a couple of the other judges as well. Um, and some of the fanciers already seen. I might have had a couple of beers with a few of them last night. Uh, so listen, you know what to do, everyone. Grab yourself a cuppa, sit back, and enjoy the show. Well, listen, ladies and gents, we, we talk a lot in the fancy about <clears throat> people who give more than they take. And this chap is, is the epitome of that. This is Joss, who has invited us over to, to do the show. I'm, I'm not going to say Joss is single-handedly responsible for this show. No, but, no, no, it's not possible. But, I got to do it but, by my own. I <laughs> have a whole team around there me. There is a whole team, but without him... Um, this this show wouldn't wouldn't be the show it is Joss it, it's an incredible show it's my first time here and yeah. um, it's I, I think we, we counted before there are 28 different winners on the top table different varieties of canary and top quality and and really really good quality and I think this is we were saying just before this is the first time 50 years of Limburg shows but the first time in three years because of Covid and avian influenza and, and stuff so you, you must be thrilled to have everyone back yeah because when it was not a success this year we stopped we right. cannot do it anymore because we have three years uh, expensive and we have no uh, entry so it's it was the last time that we can do it without a success but this year it's a success because 1437 uh, birds it's it's a lot yeah. for us it's a lot yeah. because we are a, a little club but a little club with good workers yeah and we are happy that we can invite top judges from other countries and that means that breeders from other countries because we have breeders from Germany, Holland, uh, Luxembourg, uh, France, they come here because we invite top judges to judge the birds and they, in my opinion, they are coming because of the quality of the judges. Yeah. 
not for us, but for the quality of the judges. Uh, no, it's, it's, I think it's a really important point. Um, I mean, I'm one of the judges, so they weren't coming for me, but, you know, they were, <laughs> they were, they were coming for the others. I can understand that. And I think that, that is really important, and I think... The fact that you, you've pulled from all over, over yeah, Europe is... I have also contacts because I'm more than 53 years judge. Uh, so I have contacts in other countries because I go a lot of times to other countries to judge there. So I invite, for my opinion, the best to come to, to us come and they accept. Yeah. No, brilliant, brilliant. And I think the only thing I will say, Joss, is because you've been so busy, you haven't had the opportunity to put any of your birds in no, the show. No, no, no. <laughs> in the beginning of the week, I say I go with 26, 30 birds. Yesterday evening, I know, yesterday morning, I say uh, I go with uh, 10 birds. And then I go home because I have to go pick up a judge in, uh, in the airport. I say to my wife, I go with five, but I have no place in my car anymore. So I said, the last three, four years, we, I said, I, I have no time because everyone is occupied with uh, the, 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 judge, I, the, the show. We have to bring everything here. It's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Yeah. So. So, but I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, no, you, and you should be happy, Joss, because it is it's it is an incredible show and a worthy a worthy top stage, not a top table, a top stage of winners. Yeah, and I think. But now the the winners have not the rosettes on already. We go now to bring the rosettes uh, on the, on the on the cages, and yeah. then you see that's something. Yeah. Yeah. And and a lot of breeders are coming for that. Yeah. I, I think. Yeah. That's no. my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. Well we will we will have a look at that when it's on. Listen, thank you very much for the invite and well done. It's an absolutely incredible show. And you know what? I'm gonna come again. Even if I'm not invited, I'm gonna come again because <laughs> it's that bloody good. You're always welcome. Oh bless you. Thanks a lot, Joss. Thank no you. Problem. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Well, we're done, everyone. We've finished judging. Uh, this is my judging partner for the, the show. It is, of course, Mr. Gerald Spencer. I'd like to say it's been a pleasure to spend time in your company over the last 48 hours. But everyone, on camera, this man stole my duvet last night and fought me like a tiger to try and get it back. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I can't remember that. <laughs> no, I'm sure you can't. Um, Good trip in, in, in Belgium, my friend. Bit of a journey to get here, wasn't it? Terrible journey. <laughs> Terrible journey with rain and it. Oh. Well, how many hours? It took a few. It took a few. We were we, we spent quite a lot of time around Antwerp. Um, but stuck in uh, traffic. Stu <laughs> stuck in the car in the traffic. But we made it and we made up for it with a few uh, beers last few night. Beers, a few nice, beers. Nice meal. Nice meal, lovely meal. Um, and we've had some some nice fives to have a look at today as well. Oh, very very nice. Yeah, some nice ones. I think um, a couple uh, in, interesting, always interesting. I think, mate, isn't it when you judge abroad because um, the the classifications are slightly different. The um, there isn't a champion and novice section, so all the birds are in together. Um, and the specials was an interesting one, I think, yeah, I today did. with the um, <laughs> one to seven. And yeah, then, one yeah. one to seven. Uh, cock birds and then one to seven hen birds and then one to seven overall so I mean I tell you after a few devals last night we had to spend an awful lot of time concentrating <laughs> to make sure that we didn't mess it up but it was a little uh, I think heavily variegated yellow hen very nice that. Um, that won in the end it was a nice bird there was a really really nice blue hen as well but it just just went off when I judged that first it was really nice that they just Gone to pieces like on soft, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just doesn't look, um, doesn't look, doesn't look right. But 
the the best champion uh, male cockbird I think was a white bird that looked well didn't it yeah it did look well yeah. that. looked well it, probably a bit more leg on it and it, it, it maybe it done it yeah. you know what I mean yeah in them too and I think that you know it, it, interesting the, the clear bird were nice yeah just that bloody wing now like. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no, That's yeah. it. I mean, you know, I think anyone, anyone watching the channel, anyone watching the show, you know, when when you are judging birds, and you know, you always look, go back on the stage, and you have a look, and you see, you know, what have we missed? And and there's a clear bird, and I think we had it, we had it second best, did second, we? Yeah. yeah, second best, and it kept lifting a wing at the back, and then it didn't. It stopped. <laughs> it stopped yeah, lifting it. And 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 those are the the small details that can that can make a bird look fantastic. I'd, I'd like, or I like to see that when I go around show all in a minute. Yeah, see when I've had a Duval. Yeah, a lager. He's off. He's <laughs> off on the beer. I think we've caught enough of him for now, haven't we? Listen, I've enjoyed the trip, mate. It's been a pleasure. It's not over. It's not over yet, and we're going to do it all again in in two weeks' time when we get, we take Germany by storm this time. Thanks, pal. I'll oh, see <laughs>
is the bossu, yeah. the Belgian canary. Yeah. And that's their bird. Yeah. And yeah. in Scotland, I have the Scotch fancy. Yeah. That's their bird. Yeah. And uh, it's the same around the world. Yeah. I mean, in, in um, Persia, they've got the Pers Persian rasmi. Big bird. Yeah. I've noticed the, the bird that's here is not as big as I've seen before. Right. Yeah, you know, I've seen, I think this is the first time I've seen a Rasmi, and one of the birds, and if Donald Skinner Reed is watching this, and, and hopefully he will be, but there's a Gabozo on there, and it's an allied one, and they give me the creeps, Kevin. They just, I mean, I know they say beauty's in the eye of the yeah. beholder, but, but they give me the creeps, those birds. They, they, uh, as I think Victor Neves said to me earlier on, it's well suited for the weather in, in Spain and Portugal. Yeah, yeah, that's probably right. <laughs> they don't like to be cold. No, no, they don't. God, God. They don't. God I remember them. one time I had um, imported birds from Belgium and the uh, um, Defra vet came and uh, she was checking the birds and she said, what's the matter with that bird in there? <laughs> and I said, because they got long stilty legs and I said, there's nothing wrong with it. And she stood watching it and watching it and she said, you know what, if I had a dog like that, I'd have her put to sleep. <laughs> And, and you think, yeah. you know, and that was the DEFRA people. Yeah, yeah. She was one of the veterinary inspectors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and Busey's definitely in the, be eye, of the, the eye of the beholder with them. Oh, definitely. Well, listen, mate, I think um, it's probably time for us to go and have a beer or two, because oh, we've, we've, we've earned it, yeah. I think. A beer or two, did you yeah, say? Yeah, or two. What about the three? <laughs> not putting a limit on it, no, Kevin, not putting no, a limit no, on it. No, Thanks a lot, mate. Great lovely. to see you. Cheers. You. Thank Cheerio. you. Okay, right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a man who um, is a, he's a lot better looking in the flesh than he is on Facebook, I tell you. It is Vito Neves. I've got that right, haven't I, more or less? Yeah? So, um, many of you will know Vito. He is a, 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 a very, very well-respected border breeder and border judge. And I always see your videos on Facebook and they always look beautiful. I always put little hearts next to them. Um, so, so tell me, tell me about the, 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 the border as a canary. Um, certainly in the UK is, is not now as popular as it, as it once was. How is, it, how is it in Europe? Is it still a very, very popular breed of bird? Yeah, sim, uh, in Europe, uh, o pássaro popular, muito popular. Em Portugal, nos últimos anos, tem crescido muito. Já há alguns anos que eu vou à Inglaterra, desde 2002, que visitei a primeira vez Phil Horn, o mestre dos bordas, e desde aí fui lá várias vezes, e visitei também alguns shows, e pronto, tive sempre muito interesse em aperfeiçoar, em que a raça também aumentasse em Portugal. E na Europa fiz vários concursos, mesmo aqui na Bélgica, fiz best in show, na Itália, assim, e neste momento está num nível muito, muito bom na Europa. Good stuff. And, and Phil, you mentioned, um, Phil now has fifes too. Yeah. And you have fifes? No, no, no. 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 Thank God for that. It's too small. <laughs> 
<laughs> a few for uh, for breathe my borders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to help with the borders. Oh, dearie me. Superb. And and for for you, the the quality of the borders here today was. Uh, qualidade hoje é muito boa, muito boa qualidade. Tem alguns criadores que eu já conheço há muitos anos aqui na Bélgica, com bons pássaros. Uh, hoje conheci o, o Ludo, também tem bons pássaros. Foi um forte, foi forte. Uh, estou contente por ter julgado boa qualidade de pássaros. Super, super. Well, listen, thank you thank very you. much indeed. Okay. Lovely to meet you, you finally. Thank you very much. Cheers. One of the great things about bird keeping for me and one of the great privileges in judging abroad is the opportunity to meet judges and fanciers from across the globe. And, you know, one of the funny things is we, we, we kind of feel like we know each other. Um, in some instances, we do. Um, Joe Brawns I've known for a number of years. It was great to see Joe again. Uh, and some of the other guys there, I've, I'm friends with them on Facebook. I've never met them in the flesh, but I'm, I'm friends with them on Facebook. And the judges, my, my fellow judges, um, were incredible company. And, you know, real massive, massive thanks to Joss because he and the team, they looked after us incredibly well. We had um, a wonderful uh, experience before the show um, where we enjoyed a, a really nice dinner. Uh, and then after the show, um, again, more food, a uh, couple of glasses of beer. And we got to see some of the sights and sounds of Belgium. And that for me is, is what this is all about. This picture here really struck a chord. This just shows all of the people in the show hall enjoying the Lindbergh show and there was no rushing around there was no one desperate to get their birds no one desperate to get away no one fighting to box up the boxing up probably took two and a half hours or so people steadily trickled away but it didn't start till six and it captured everything this show that for me bird keeping is about what a wonderful wonderful experience And on our journey, before we got to the Lindbergh show, we took in the sights and sounds and the stock of uh, a local... Uh, I feel bad calling it a pet shop, but I guess that's what it was. It supplied everything uh, for, for cats and dogs and aquatics, but the bird section in there was, was something special. Um, you can see, you know, a great selection of seed and, and product... Uh, a great selection of accessories um, and all in immaculately clean conditions. I could have, uh, I did take the car, I could have filled it three times over. Um, I had to be really careful not to, uh, not to exceed um, my allotted allocation of things I could bring, bring back into the UK. Um, but I'm really happy to pick up some seeds that, you know, are available in the UK, but available at a, a slightly more expensive cost. And some things that are quite difficult to get hold of in the UK. And then, of course, we went into the main bird room itself. Now, I didn't bring any birds back with me. I was sorely tempted. The hawfinches that you can see, uh, they nearly came home with me. I'm not going to lie. Um, they didn't, though. Um, but, I, uh, you know, the, the, the British finches or the native finches, there some of course as you would expect some goldfinches different types of mutations of red poles and green finches and just a selection of really wonderful exotic birds an absolutely incredible place And then 
Well, it, it flew by the trip and it was time to head for the ferry home. Um, a long drive awaited, but a drive full of happy, happy memories. Um, if you are in Europe uh, next year, make sure you have this show, the Limburg Posture Canary Show, top of your list of things to go and see.